Leon questions behind the scenes tonight about the death of an off-duty police officer. Some officers are asking if Officer Brennan Rabain's death should be listed as in the line of duty after police revealed he had alcohol in his system as he tried to catch a speeding car. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell has the story. Two weeks ago, Prince George's County Police Officer Brennan Rabain was laid to rest with full honors. Days before, the 26-year-old died in a crash ruled in the line of duty because, though technically off-duty, Rabain was in pursuit of a 100-mile-an-hour speeder on Greenbelt Road. To the end, he was serving this community with no concern of his own safety. Then last Friday, a bombshell. At the time of the crash, Rabain's blood alcohol content was .07, enough for a possible charge of driving while impaired. Tonight, the officer's union president says that changes nothing. This was a line of duty death, and this FOP will stand behind this officer. We will defend him, and we will not let anyone walk on his grave. Jones says Rabain's name will be engraved on the union's police officer's memorial, and he responds to anonymous critics of the line of duty death designation by citing federal law, which states an officer who takes police action, even if he's been drinking, is acting in the line of duty. We're police officers all the time. County residents we spoke to agree. Mr. Rabain is not perfect, but he was an officer, and he did his best to protect us and keep us safe. And tonight, as the memorial for Officer Rabain still stands here at the scene of the accident, the Prince George's County Police Chief is issuing a statement saying that he stands firmly behind his decision that what happened here was a line of duty death. In Greenbelt, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.